Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to TF Custom Shaving Brushes Workshop. My name's Tony, how are we all? All good? All well I hope, I see Amber's in there, very quickly. Um, let me just get the uh, Facebook page up so I can see what, uh, who else is in there, Brett's in there. Welcome back guys, welcome back. Now, what I've done is I mixed up, I didn't do too much on this handle that we've got to finish tonight. Um, but I did mix up a little bit of uh, purple pigment with a little bit of UV resin earlier today. And I painted it on the inside of there. You can still see the band in the top section, but you're not going to see the knot through it, which is what I wanted to try and achieve. Um, and I've also Although we've done that black, but I've also done the uh, bottom of the knot and the sides of the knot in the purple as well. So when it goes in, it will darken everything up. So that's the plan anyway at this stage. So we'll see how we go. The only thing I'm a little bit unsure about, this is still, I mean, I've had the UV torch on it all afternoon, but um, it still feels tacky. So I'm not sure if we, we're gonna mark it when we put it on the chart. But anyway, I'm gonna go for it. And if we do, then um, I'll just have to come back and fix it again later, I think. Um, but anyway, we'll see how we go. <clears throat> so, we'll get this one finished. And then what we may do is we may start another one. If we've got time to do another one. At least take it so far anyway. And if we've got to roll that into another stream, we'll just roll it into another stream as well. So um, that looks reasonably centered on there. I don't want to go too tight with the chuck. It's not too bad. We've just um, had another couple of storms roll through. It's a couple of areas in Brisbane here tonight. Um, Fortunately, where we are, we're only just, we've only just had a little bit of drizzle of rain. No real storm come through here. We seem to miss them most of the time, which is good, I suppose. Um, we catch the tail end of them sometimes, but uh, you know, that's about the extent of it. We do get a bit of hail every now and again, though. But it's been a stinking hot day here today. I think we were up over the 30, 30, 30 odd degrees here today. And I was just checking the humidity there before. We're up at nearly 79, 80% humidity. So it's been muggy, sweaty, sticky all bloody day today. So anyway, I'm out in the shed. I'm not putting my apron on tonight because it's too bloody hot in here. I've got the fan going over my back, big, big industrial fan, and it's still stinking. So um, <laughs> anyway, let's get going. Nobody wants to hear my little problems and issues, did he? Let's get on with it. We've all got our own issues, haven't we? Right, um, bring the tailstock in, a little bit of support there, that'll do it. I'll part that off, speed it up. Now I had to change the videos around, I don't know if YouTube um, notifies you when I change a video. Um, if you remember we had those soft blanks and some of those blanks that we cast where the resin didn't quite go very hard, it was a bit spongy. Well, first the rest of them were all good, ended up turning out to be good. I still got one, which is the one that I was supposed to be turning tonight, it's still a little bit spongy. So I've put it through the oven treatment as well, again. And we'll see what happens with that one. Once it sort of fully... Um, when it's had time to cool down. <coughs> And we'll see if it hardens up. 
If it does, we'll be turning that in the next stream or the stream after. And then I've got to get on to some customer brushes, including uh, another one for Brett or another two for Brett, depending. And I've got a couple of castings to do as well, so we'll see how we go there. Right. So we all good, yeah, we've all, um, all had a good weekend and we're into the new week now. Yeah, very casual tonight. Uh, it's too hot to put the uh, the smock on for uh, keeping the crap off me. These can just go in the wash when I'm finished tonight. I'll be all good. Right, let's put the um, 25mm bit in for the coin. Slow that down. Let's check my depth. Um, yeah, that should do, I think. Soon. So we're just putting the finishing touches to this one tonight. It needs to go up a touch. I think I'll do another one in this blue, um, but I'll, I won't put any clear in it the next time. I'll um, I'll just do it as blue. See him leaning right over the lathe here, just to get that little round touch on that inside ledge. <coughs> and then we can give that a little touch with a little bit of sandpaper, so we'll slow it right down again. I, I, I mean, I can't, I can't for sure say one or the other, to be honest, Brett. Um, but when I read the manufacturer or the supplier's information about the uh, particular resin that I'm using of theirs, it sort of mentions that if the resin doesn't cure properly, that it's, it's generally a sign that there's too much hardener being added, or incorrect amount of hardener. So I've got a funny feeling that I might, uh, my cup might be slightly out with the measurements on those last ones we cast because they were all a little bit soft and whilst we've managed to harden up the other ones, that one has stayed, for whatever reason, that one has stayed softer. But I had it in the oven this afternoon, so I'm thinking that maybe that'll, because that's what well, I've done that with them all anyway, including that one. Um, so I'm hoping that that's going to solve the issue. But if it doesn't, then um, it's just one blank. Because the other ones did harden up, eventually. So, um, yeah. 
So we'll just have to wait and see anyway. The wall on this is quite thin, so I don't want to go too tight with this chap. So I don't want to break the handle at this stage. We'll try not to spill water tonight, eh? Right. So there we go. And slow the lathe right down. nice and rounded. Yeah, they're pretty good amber, the pin jaws. Um, I just find that the, the way I turn my handles um, it's probably one of the quicker ways of doing it rather than mucking around with all other ways of doing it and it lets you finish the handle basically once you you know take this off the chuck that's the handle finish really it's just a case of you know setting the knot really rather than mucking around and trying to do it different ways I just find this way is the easiest way to be honest and I've tried a lot of different ways over the years trust me but this, um, this seems to work, and it works quite well. I do have collet chucks and all that to go inside the hole there, but I, again, I just don't find that they, uh, they work properly. And again, sometimes the hole sizes are not the, the, the correct sizes for those collets, so they, they don't tighten up properly or, you know. Whereas I find this way, it doesn't matter what size the hole is, you can always get it to fit the chuck. So um, I've sort of stuck with this method because, it, it, like I said, it seems to work for me. But that, that's the thing, everybody's different and everybody will have their own way of doing things. And, you know, you just got to find out what works for you and what works best for you, you know. Specimens don't lose count, Brett. 10, 11, 12, 21, 23, 24, 25, 30, 41. Don't lose count, mate. Don't lose count. Yeah, and the trick with the pin, the pin jaws, um, Amber is just to, um, you'll find that pressure, you'll find, you know, you might split a couple of wooden handles or you might split, you know, a shaving brush. I've done it many, many times in my earlier days, but I haven't done it in a long time. And you just learn where the pressure is, where you need to stop, you know. So we'll get the uh, we'll get the coin set in this tonight, and we'll get the knot set in it. We'll 
give it a bit of a buff, a bit of a polish, and then we'll see how it looks. I do quite like that diamond blue though, um, that diamond deep blue, sorry, it's quite a nice colour, and it does get that a fair amount of sparkle in it, which is different to the shimmer that you get with Pearl X, excuse me. Um, yeah, so it is a bit different, but I think, like I said, I think next time I do it, I'll do it um, just with the blue, and I won't, um, I won't put clear in it, I think, because I don't think it's a very, very solid colour anyway. Like, it, it seems to be okay on its own, but I don't think it's like solid like some of your other colours. So, putting clear in it doesn't really do much for it. Whereas it can be the opposite with some other colours. You know, other colours can look quite nice with a bit of clear in it. This one tends not to let, lend itself to that. Right. So even that one, I mean, I know the, uh, I know the, see this one's gone slightly out of shape too in the uh, top section. It'll pull back in though. So it, even it must be very, very slightly softer. Anyway, I'm going to take this to the buff, buff it up before we get ready to um, do anything else with it. So we'll put these on to um, we'll put these on to camera three, eh? So we'll put you camera three. No, sorry, camera four it is. Not that you can see much, because my back's to you anyway.
and I think that'll do it. Right, we'll have to put it back on there again. So again, it'll need to be very, very gently. Just enough to do a bit of polish with it. Go and get the polish. And we'll need the epoxy. Um, where is the... Oh, there it is over there. Already got it out. Da 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 Right, we'll give this a good shake. We'll put you on to um, camera three. See how that goes. Good afternoon, Razor. How are you, mate? Right. Nice and slowly to start with. And we just want that polish into the plastic. To the resin. It'll be hard getting into that little groove. It's going to be hard getting into that little groove. A little bit faster. Let's buff that in. And we should be right there, I think. Okay, we shall take that off. And get the glue board. Yeah, a tiny little bit out around, but it will pull back in like the other ones did. Bit of a pain. But it will harden up, it's just going to take longer. I mean, resin takes many, many hours to cure to its hardest anyway. So um, it cures for a long time after. Oh, oh, oh. 
I mean the handles, as you can hear, it's solid. Right, we'll mix up a little bit of epoxy. Um, that should be enough there. So bring that a little bit further over in the shot there so you can see what's going on. Get a bit of part B. That wasn't fresh stuff now. Right, get our mixing stick. Guys, what are we going to do with you? Right? What are we going to do with you? I think that'll do that. Beautiful. A little bit of ooze. So that's good. I like to see a little bit. Ah, methylated spirits. And then we'll get the knot set before it um, has too much time to go off. So we'll just get a little bit of the excess away on this. to that in a little while. A little bit more. That epoxy's still okay at this stage. See how we go with that for a while. Now we'll set the knot. That'll probably do it. There's quite a bit of epoxy in there. And there's the uh, 
no. There we go. One finished handle. We can still see the light colour through there, but it's darkened down a lot to what it was before. Um, and we're seeing a, a bit of blue through it, we're still seeing a bit of sparkle through it and we're seeing a little bit of purple because I put purple inside. And, um, and there's the coin in the bottom, set nicely there. And then if I go to camera two, cut over to there and I'll just let you have a look at it from that view there. So. Finished handle. And the shape's not quite chubby like because chubbies are quite fat. Um, and they're, they're, like I said, they're only about 50, 55 mil um, in height. So it's a little bit taller than that. So it's not, like I said, it's not quite chubby, but it's chubbier than most of my other handles. If I had another handle here to show you, I would, but they're all inside, missed. But, yeah. It's quite nice. Guess you can hold it with that finger locked in in that bottom ring there as well. Can't sort of show you that. And then grip it grip it with the rest of your hand or you can grip it just like that yeah but anyway that's it she's done another one bites the dust so we'll sit that over there out of the way for now let's check that bottom again yeah I'm going to give the bottom another little wipe with a clean uh, towel Yeah, the colour's nice. It's a really nice deep blue, but it's just got that sparkle in it, you know? I guess that's where the diamond part of the name comes in from it. Diamond deep blue size, so... Um, anyway. So, just give this another little touch up on the bottom. Just like to make sure that the the epoxy is totally removed because if it, if you don't, it gets in between the letters and it looks kind of yucky, you know. So I like it to be um, nice and clean. And that's it. Done. Done, done, done. Right. So we'll wipe that over there out the way so it doesn't get damaged. It actually looks quite nice now that I see it over there like that. It does look, I mean, it's all not 30 mil, 30 mil um, tuxedo. 
it's all not, that's for sure. Right, what else have we got? Now we might not finish this one tonight either, we might roll it into the other stream, into the next stream as well. I think what we might do is get the majority of the shaping done. And I might do the sanding offline so I don't bore you with sanding all the time. And then we might come back in the next stream and we can maybe finish it, set the coin, set the knot, just like what we've done tonight. And it might shorten the streams up so the streams are not sort of two, two and a half hours long, tying everybody else up for so long. So we'll maybe just give that a try. We'll see how we go. Just depends how much time I get through the days as well. But we might um, we might try that, and just you know, see if it makes any difference, you know, to the streams not being quite so long. We might get some more viewers if if they're not all too long as well. So we'll see. We'll see how it pans out, eh? No harm in trying these things. Right. So this one, I'm trying to remember with this one, I can't quite remember again what colours we put in this one. I mean, what I'm seeing in it, I'm seeing sort of lilac and purpley with tinges of blue. I'd say there was a fair bit of clear in this one as well. This one is hard though, so uh, we'll probably hear that when we cut into it. Um, or harder, I should say. I mean, it's epoxy, so it never gets as hard as polyester resin but you can hear there you know how much harder that is um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap those views over for you so in the main picture I'm going to put camera three eh, sorry yeah camera three and in the side one there we'll leave that side on So you can hear the cut in that one, whereas some of the other blanks, they weren't really making that cut noise because they were soft. And this one might even be a little bit soft in the middle. Oh, it feels all right. We'll see how we go. We'll soon know. Right. Um, now, I haven't actually picked out a knot for this one. And I've got a cashmere and a boss knot here, which I don't think either of them are going to go with this one. No. May do, that may go with it. We'll see. If I've got to go inside and get another knot, we'll get another knot. So I keep them inside. I don't keep them out here in the workshop. And that one's probably going to be too, way too light. Anyway, we'll see how we go, eh? Let me get the uh, chat back up now. Yeah, it does look kind of metallic-y. Um, We'll see what we get out of it. Now, the only thing is I do need to make up my mind what knot we're going to put in it. Um, because I need to drill the hole to take the knot. So, I really am not sure what to put in this one. I'm going to take another little bit off that end too.
that's better, right? Um, yeah, I do have some two-band fans there, mate. Uh, I'm not sure what size you throw in the two-band finest. You reckon one of them would look good in this steer? Yeah, I'm just not sure what to... Um... Can you see the colour in the end of that one? Doesn't that look nice? Aye? Go to camera too. Get a bigger look at that. Forget the little ring marks, because that's just where I've cut it. Yeah, I don't have many of them, uh, Razor. I have a couple there. Um, but I don't have many fan knots, mate. I don't get as much calling for fan knots, to be honest. It's mainly balls. Anyway, let me just go back out on that now. I'll leave it about there. Okay, we might... Uh, oh, I still need to find, find a knot for this. Um, I might go inside, just give me... Um, Give me uh, a minute or two and I'll go inside and I'll see if I can find a suitable knot to go in this one. I'll be right back with this. I'm back. I've decided to put a 28mm rhodium in it because I think this one's going to look quite nice. So it'll get set with a 28mm rhodium. That's what we're going to do. So in we go. Uh, So we'll turn it down a bit in speed. And I'm going to set that to 10mm. 
there. So that'll be 27 mil or 26 say to start with. And again. Ah. Yeah, the shavings feel hard enough, so um, I think we're good with this one. Alright, that's 10. So we'll bring that till it touches. Thereabouts. And then we'll try it at that. We'll take that out. Soften that edge. No. So I'm going to have to make that hole bigger because the 28 oh, does fit in there, but it will need a little bit of room. So I'm going to open it up probably about a mil. So I need to take off about half a mil of one side, which will give us a mil. Right. <laughs> Amber's off, is she? Right. So only half a mil. to just soften that edge again I guess. Lovely. Lovely. And that gives that 52, so that should be nice. Okay. And what did that end up at? About 28 and a half, 29. So that should be plenty. Okay, now. Shape. Shape, shape, shape. Not shake, 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 Brett. Shape, shape, shape.
Right. Now, just going to have a quick look at something. Um, Right. Now I do need my pencil at my pocket here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark that round about there. And then about there and then I'm going to go around about there Just making sure that the details are nice and clean because they're going to be fairly tight ones to um, try and sand. Now, now all I'm doing is evening up that curve. So that it looks kind of symmetrical on the bottom as well as the top. And that's not looking too bad there. Um, now, let me have a look again, because I'm sort of looking at one of my old handles that I've done some time ago. Um, and I'm trying to 
So I kind of replicate that, but not exactly the same. Yeah, so a little bit downward on that. Clean up that now. It's not too bad. Maybe a little bit there. That'll about do that, I think. Yep, that'll do it. Now, we need to go in here again now. Gone on the floor. Oh dear, it's a long way down there. So you'll see I'm sort of left handed again here now. Okay. So it's a very, very slight variation on one that I've done before, and that's why I was referring to the pictures there because it was quite some time ago that I'd done it. And um, I want to have plenty of meat up here, so that's why I'm not reducing it down too much. And the, obviously this will have to stay fairly close to where it's at as well. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this back and we'll start hollowing out underneath the top section with the carbide. Now we've got YouTube playing silly buggers again. He's Ryan in, is he? G'day Ryan, how are you buddy? How's the training gone? YouTube's sending me funny messages again. Too high. Now, I do want to put a mark in there actually, so I should do that first. I do want to have a bit of a bottom section on this one. Just not sure how this is going to look because um, the tops is going to be as wide as the bottom. Normally I like to have the bottom wider than the top. So we'll see how we go with it.
and I probably should put these on to that shot. So, now we'll just um, tweak the shape a little bit here and there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that in a little bit. There. And that one in a little bit. There. I'm going to take that in. There. Let me take that and round it a little bit. And that's looking quite nice. Then we'll take that and round that a little bit more. Okay. So, parting tool first. Get that pretty close to the chuck. I'm not gonna have a lot of waste on this. T-Man, how are you, buddy?
I'm saying we're all good again, everybody back to normal. I don't know what YouTube's doing to me. I have no idea. Mike's dead, Mike should be on. Music. Ah, uh, it's YouTube again, Mike. YouTube's popping up these messages. I mean, my, my streaming data rate is where it normally is, eh? But I keep getting these messages popping up. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming, which is crap. I can give it more and then it will spit the dummy. It's ridiculous. Anyway, not a lot I can do about it. I'll keep soldiering on. Following, I think, and then I think we'll be done with the um, with the turning, shaping. Okay. I think that'll do it now.
Grey Dog, how are you buddy? Okay. How long have we been going? Now on 16 and now on 17. And YouTube's popping up that message to me again. So. I really don't know guys, I really don't know. Too fast. So the boring part again here fellas, ladies and gents, sanding, 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 more sanding, sanding, more sanding, sanding. So I don't know, I'm quite happy to continue, if you want to continue, but if you want to call it a day, I can finish this offline and we can come back in the next stream. Set the coin, set the knot like we've done tonight, and then maybe start another handle. If that saves you getting bored watching me sand, 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 sand. Yeah, I had a look at it. Um, I didn't think too much of it though. It looks fairly fresh. I had a look at that one Grey Dog mentioned, specifically just to see, but I don't know. I think I'll just stick with YouTube. I mean, look, to be honest, YouTube's been pretty good. I mean, it's only, I think we had one or two streams way back in the early days, and we've been streaming for about six, seven months now. So, um, 
It's only, it's been this last two or three streams for whatever reason. And I don't know why. Because nothing my end's changing, unless the internet's failing, which it did one night, it totally crashed. Something to do with Optus, but tonight it should be fine. Let me see if I can run an internet speed test. That might tell us, eh? Here we go. Go. This might tell us if it's my internet. And looking at that, I don't think so. So, ping in milliseconds is eight. So that's pretty low, that's good. Download at this current time, which is sort of peak time in the like later in the afternoon. I'm still getting 62.97 megabytes per second uh, download, and my upload is sitting at 25.72. And I only need um, I need a lot less than that to stream. And my data rate up on the monitor here is saying that I've got nine uh, megabytes per second, which is what I'm, my data rate is. So there's nothing, nothing wrong my end. That just kind of proves it. It's definitely something with YouTube. So I think their servers must be jammed up or something, and it's not allowing this, the the um, it's not allowing the data rate to go through to them. But they want to make up their mind because they're saying they're not getting enough tonight and yet the other night they were saying they were getting too much. So, beyond me. It's definitely like YouTube's not, um, well they're saying they're not getting enough, but I mean my, my data rate's still at 9 megabytes a second, and the cache has come down, I mean the cache went up to about 90% before, which tells me there's, there's an issue somewhere, um, it's not in my data rate output, the cache has now come back down to, to zero being okay, and I've still got signs, I've still got messages on YouTube saying that, um, oh there it's just gone now. So there's something really weird. Maybe they heard me that I've sorted out the problem. My internet speed's fine. And I'm streaming at the rates that they recommended for YouTube, so, you know, that's the other stupid thing. Just 
frustrating because you you know you do want a good quality stream when you're streaming because um, nobody wants to sit and watch a, a stream that's got heaps of issues or you know bad sound quality or speaking of bad sound quality I don't think we've got any music have we Oh, we have, yes, we have, we have, we have. It's showing that everything's good now. I mean, it's saying the excellent connection. That's what I'm saying. Nothing's changed by end. I'd definitely be able to understand it if my internet speed was showing poor, but when I'm showing their kind of data rate, their, their kind of um, downloads and uploads, there's no reason why there should be an issue. And this is not running on Wi-Fi, this is all hardwired in, and there's the message up again. I think YouTube must be broken. YouTube must be broken! Anyway... One will continue to soldier on. That'll do that one.
Oh, great dog's feeling better. He's got his coffee. So what I think I'll do guys is I'll take this one through to wet sanding so you can get to see some of the colour and then we'll stop there for the night and then we'll continue on with this one um, in the next stream and then we'll start another new one I think. So you'll, I'll spare you the, um, the continuation of the wet sanding. Message is gone again and we're back to excellent connection. <laughs> My data rate hasn't moved, the case is good. Still looking forward to seeing the colours in this one because the blank looked quite nice. There's a blank. you off. Who ripped you off? You off Fraser. We'll catch you later on then, eh? Another grip. Two down, three to go. Huh. Get rid of 
Well, Should rip you off, yeah? Yeah, I don't subscribe to the um, premium thing. But I do have another thing, but I think I don't, I, well, it's attached to YouTube, but I don't think it's. Um, actually YouTube it's it's called Tube Buddy. It's for creators and um, to help them with their uh, setting the streams up and all that sort of thing. I do use that and I do pay for that. Um, and to be honest, I sometimes wonder what I'm paying for because it doesn't give me too much. Um, the one you go on a, a you know a higher plan and I'm not prepared to do that because um, you know I don't know where my income comes from sometimes so can't afford to um, pay for all these bloody different things that they want money out of you for. It seems to be the way of the world now that everybody wants money out of you for everything. Even software online now, I mean everything's subscription, you know, you got to pay every year now. Instead of just buying the software and having it and getting the updates free, you've got to pay for everything now. It's bloody shocking. And you know, you're paying more for a yearly subscription now than what you used to pay for the whole software package. I'm having a right rant tonight, am I? It's like, has anybody ever noticed like, we have our favourite biscuits that we buy when we want to have a cup of coffee and a biscuit. Or, you know, we have our, our favourite chocolate bars that we, we buy if we feel like a chocolate. But have you ever noticed that they're getting dearer and dearer and dearer, but the bars are actually getting smaller and smaller? Same with the biscuits. We're paying more and more money for the biscuits. You're getting smaller packets, smaller biscuits, but you're paying more for it. It's bloody ridiculous. You buy a packet of chips, or crisps as we call them, and the massive big packets, but they're half empty. Fill the bloody things up. But the price keeps going up, they don't get cheaper. Anyway, that's enough from me. Otherwise, I'll, I'll end up getting wound up and depressed. We don't want that happening, do we?
Bloody hell. There must be a way out of that though, mate. You must be able to get out of it. They can't keep you in something. If you don't want to be in it, unless you're, a, you're attached for 12 months or something like that, then they could hold you to it, I guess. But if it's a month month thing, mate, I wouldn't think they should be able to keep you in it if you don't want to be in it. I just click through the ads, mate. When I can. I mean, some of them you can't click through them either, but um, most of them you can. I just click through the ads. I think that's about the only thing you get any different, isn't it? Ad free or something. And I've just been having a rant. Yeah, we beat this script and one more. We're nearly finished this one. We're just going to give it a rub by hand. One more stay. One more grit and then we'll, um, we'll be, I'll give it one wet sand so that you can see the colours and then we'll call the stream an end and then we'll come back to it on uh, Thursday night. In the meantime I'll try and get it wet sandy and get it ready for setting the knot, the coin and then we'll move on from there right. See how, see how it pans out. And you still have to watch this boring sand, and this takes up longer than the wet sanding actually. Um, I think when I checked back that last video, I think there's about 40 odd minutes of dry sanding. So it'd be great if I could cut all that out, but it, you know it's unavoidable unless I do it offline. But some stage you still I still need to come back to doing sanding so you still get it still gets you know 30 40 minutes of bloody sanding in the video so that's the trouble we're doing them live I guess but it's good that we get that interaction you know but anyway like I said we'll see how it all pans out in another five six months and if it's not sort of progressing then we'll maybe have to I'll maybe have to just reassess or maybe um, cut back not do so many something I don't know we'll, we'll work it out as we go we're up to 94 subscribers and um, so we're one shot to hit 95 check that today but it it's been on that for God knows how long now. Well, 92, it was hovering around the 92, 93. We pick some up, we lose the odd one here and there. It's a 
just the way it is. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. How do you get through your day when you sit up for hours watching me sanding? Huh? Sand, 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 sand. I wish there was a more termic way of doing it. There's not one. Unfortunately. Anyway, did we all watch the um, the space launch, the rocket launch? Did we all watch that? It's pretty spectacular, isn't it? Four astronauts up to the International Space Station for six months or something, I think you said. They seem to have it down to a fine art, don't they? I watched the launch live on the TV. Um, I think it was on the ABC. And um, it just all happened like clockwork, eh? And it's all happened within minutes, you know? Everything's done, dusted. They're on the way. 20,000 kilometers an hour, or 20,000, 20, yeah, 20,000 kilometers a second or something, I think they were saying. Just something phenomenal. That'll do that one, I think. well for you grey dog. Hope it's all good buddy. Hope they don't have to dig too deep. How are we going time? That's an hour and 51 people. I've still got one dry grit to go yet. Before I can even think about putting the weight on it. Here we go.
This is going to have a, a real um, grippy handle on it, this one. Nearly there, then we can hit it with the wet and then we'll call it a night. And we'll come back to it. We can get onto wet. Let's see how the colour is going to come up in this one. Eh? I think it's going to be quite nice, but it's always hard to tell. Truly, until you um, get the wet. So here we go. Now we'll get to see a bit of splash of colour. Hopefully. We'll slow that down. Thank you guys. I'll let you see a bit of colour in this shortly. Although you probably still won't see it properly until we get through a few more of the grits. But um, I think we might do that 
offline and let you guys have a breather from it all. So thanks guys, much appreciated for your support. I'll go, one, I'll go a couple more grits, eh? Because we're still wait. What time are we at? We're an hour and 59, so we're nearly two hours. So I'll go this grit and then we'll call it a night. All right. And I'll let you see the handle on the lathe here. And the next time you see it, we'll be finishing it off. So it won't have the shine in it yet either. That'll come once we um, get through the grits and then once we get it on the buffer. But I'll give it a, a bit of a wash down with a bit of fresh water. Just so you can see what it's looking like. And I think that might do it. I'll give it a little bit of a hand sand. that'll do it I think we'll call it a night at that I'll give that a wipe off like I said it's not going to be shiny or anything at this point because it's um, still going to be sanded through quite a few of the uh, finer grits yet but it'll let you see the color that's in it and then obviously it'll it will shine up after So if I can just um, go on in that, and I think if I can bring that camera to there, and just maybe round about there. So there you can see it starting to take shape. So it's got a nice sort of light blue tinge up through here, in through here, a little bit down the bottom here, a little bit as it works through there. You can see little splashes of it everywhere else. And then we've got some, I don't know if it was carbon black, and um, I don't know what else we used in this. I, I can't really tell, to be honest. And then if I go to that camera, you'll see the top there as well, um, if it'll focus in. So you can see the colours there. Yeah, very very close to the Phantom Nebula. The Phantom Nebula just has a little bit more of that pinky liquid fire sort of colour in it. Um, 
I still think we're going to get a different look in this once it's shined up and we've gone through some of the finer grits. I think it will come up quite nice to be honest. But anyway, I think we'll call it a night at that. Um, I'll lay these pads out. We'll call it a night. We did get this one finished, so um, let me zoom out on that. So we did get this nice one finished earlier on in the stream. Nice and sparkly, with a nice antique silver coin in the bottom. Lots of sparkle in the blue. Probably just see it in the camera there too. The sparkle, not so much shimmery, although it has got a little bit of sh sort of shimmer in it, but it's more sparkly than shimmer. So yeah, there we go. So we got that one finished, and we've got this other one, which will be finished in the next stream. There's not too much more to do to this one, and I think this once it's shined up and polished. I think it's going to be a bit of a stunner actually and um, again if I sit the um, being careful not to let that plop into the water once we get the, uh, the rhodium's not quite quite oh there we go it wants to pop out again so if I just pinch it in the bottom like that and if I just take that out there she is um, if I go to Camera three. Now you get to see that one with the knot in it, and that's the um, 28 mil Sarjan hand-tied rhodium knot. So it should be quite nice, I think. Okay, peeps. Well, I think that'll do us. Um, we've got eight in viewing at the moment according to YouTube, but YouTube hasn't been uh, right all night, so I don't know why I would think that there was eight. It's gone to seven now. Anyway, let me get back to here. Um, yeah, Grey Dog and Amber done well to hang in there. Beds are calling, you better go. Catch up on some lost sleep. And um, to the rest of you, and Auntie Amber and Grey Dog, Thanks for dropping in. Thanks for giving us your company in the stream again. I hope you've enjoyed and still enjoying the streams. And um, we'll see you on Thursday night for the continuation of this one. And we'll start another one as well. And uh, so, yeah, so we'll see, see you then on Thursday night. So, as I normally say, stay safe, take care. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. And we'll see you all on Thursday night. Eh? Thanks again. Cheers for now.